Good morning, and welcome to Dr. K's Thoughts for the Day. A couple of weeks ago, I was performing a karaoke night at my place, a bar in Fairhope, Alabama. For those of you outside the area, Fairhope is just outside of Daphne, and just south of Daphne, and I live in Daphne. And uh, they get a little crazy over there. It's real close, real tight knit, you know. Got to be glad they banned smoking in bars in Fairhope because otherwise people would be setting each other on fire in there. It's so close. And you know, my friend Mitch, Lord of the Wedding Rings, somebody spilled a beer on his $1,200 laptop. Uh, ruined his $200 memory card, but he managed to revive the laptop within the next couple of days. Now, last uh, last Saturday I was there and Mitch's friend Teddy was running the show. And I noticed late in the show these three black guys walk in there wearing hoodies. Now, I'm not a prejudiced person or anything, but you notice when three, you know, when three black guys walk into my place, it's like they're walking into the Republican convention or something. You notice it, okay? I mean, my place is a ritzy club. I say ritzy because a lot of rich crackers go in there. And they come in and then they stand on the dance floor just kind of looking real quiet. Then one of them gives uh, Teddy a hug. I go, oh, these guys are friends of Teddy's. Okay. But they didn't sing. They didn't really get into the show. They just kind of stood there against the wall the whole time. So I figured they must be security to protect Teddy's equipment after what happened to Mitch. Now I talked to Angela that night. I chatted with her. When uh, uh, when Mitch had beer spilled on his laptop, and she said that he'd spilled tea on her laptop one time, and had it re he had it revived within a day. But you see, beer is different than tea, though, because beer has female hormones in it. That's right, beer has female hormones in it. You don't believe me? I've been a bartender. I know these things. I did an experiment one night. I had ten guys at the bar. I gave them 12 pints of beer, and bo before they were finished, they were all talking nonsense. They couldn't drive. They were spending their money carelessly. They were crying for no apparent reason, and they had to sit down to pee. So that proved that beer has female hormones in it. I tried to tell that joke to my daughter years ago, back when she was like 8 years old. I said, Chloe, did you know beer could turn a man into a woman? She said, I bet RuPaul drinks a lot of beer. Thank you for watching Dr. K's Thoughts for the Day.